Well, let's see. How did it maybe in the other? I think it only. I think it just. I think it just. Uh oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get this hanging for a second. Mm, hello. Hello. I'm like a writer who makes art instead. All right, we don't know where it's going. And the fun part is not going where it's going, knowing where it's going, because the hard part is actually gluing them together and trying to get them so they won't fall apart and you know hang them on the wall and stuff. The fun part is when it goes from being a bunch of junk to looking like, to I understand what it is and what it's going to be. And the something that it was going to be was going to be able to jump over its lack of perfection and craftsmanship and stuff like that. I know that a lot of people are much more directed in the art that they make, but my art sort of reveals itself to me. I just have all this stuff and, and I, I just, I have it sitting around and I don't know, I start to see a direction in it. I start to see a, a, a pattern. And I start to think, I start to see a theme. And I start to, you know, think about what kind of form it could be or it could be all together and stuff. Because of the kind of work I do, I think people think that I'm really interested in me and what I think. But I'm not really interested in me, what I think. I'm interested in what you guys and I and the people out there and the people who are watching TV and the people who are coming to the show. I'm interested in what we all think. The place where we, the part where we can agree on what everything means. See, the meaning is cultural, it's not personal. I'm more interested in trying to make something where I can get you to see what I see. I mean, some people just don't have it, and some people want, are too cool to have it. But by and large, we all can look at something and we can have a similar like thing. We can all look at something and think it looks slick. We can all look at something and say it looks like de Kooning. You know, we can we have this huge amount of stuff that we we all share, only we don't think about it, right? And it's cultural, and it has to do with you know driving and eating, and but mine is more related to what normal people do and think, and the objects they touch, and the stories that they know, both culturally and you know, and from the past, and writers that they read and that they have read, and you know, just the big common pool of American cultural information. We, we have this thing, and even though we don't really realize that we share it, I can communicate to you through, in it, through objects, and that's what I'm interested in. I don't know, I'm, I guess I, I'm in my, I, I, it's hard to describe, you know what I mean? I, I'm not as cool, but it's partly because I'm older and it's partly because I'm more interested in having a really coherent body of work than I am in some ways about whether, you know, how famous and popular I am right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure I should put that in the videotape, but that part is true.